we have the uh, 2010 Canadian PGA Teacher of the Year, Jason Hellman, who actually attended the Golf Academy of America here in Orlando. And he is in town. He's going to be on the Golf Channel tomorrow morning on Morning Drive. But we at the Golf Insiders, of course, always getting the scoop, have him on the show right now. And we want to welcome Jason to Orlando. And thanks for spending some time with us. Hey, Jason. Hey, thanks, Holly. It's great to be on the show. Awesome to have you on the show. Um, so first, uh, give our listeners just a little uh, insight, if you can, on the tour event coming up at, um, you know, for the RBC. Well, I've never physically played there. It's a, it's a tough golf course, uh, parkland style, pretty tight, uh, lots of big trees, and real small greens. Uh, it's quite an old design, so uh, the guys will have a tough time, uh, you know, this week. It's not going to be a cakewalk, that's for sure. And you are based in Toronto, yeah, just outside Toronto, just north of Toronto at uh, Wayne Dance Golf Club, which is a uh, Cubling Corporation uh, golf course, and they've just opened, uh, just bought six courses down here in Florida, actually. So, Oh, fantastic. So uh, you attended the Golf Academy of America, which, uh, for our listeners who don't know, is a two-year golf career college. Uh, they have, I think, five locations around the country, and one of them happens to be here in Orlando. So tell us a little bit about you know, your, your background, Jason, and how you uh, came to the Golf Academy. And uh, sounds like you've uh, fast-tracked to really make a name for yourself. Well, no, I wouldn't say fast track. It took, it took me a while to get where I am now. As I'm in my 18th year as a pro, so um, I wish it was so quick. But, um, you know, I was around 19 or 20 when uh, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do in life. Uh, and I grew up, uh, you know, working the summers at a fishing lodge, and they also owned a nine-hole golf course uh, right beside it. So in my second year, I, you know, I ended up shooting under par and, and loving the game. And I found, uh, you know, the Golf Academy magazine uh uh, an advertisement in the magazine and uh, said, hey, you know what, I think I really want to go into the golf and uh, enjoy the outdoors and people. And, you know, I was actually headed in a teaching career anyway, um, whether uh, I was going to be a phys ed teacher or not. And uh, the Golf Academy uh, gave me, uh, you know, some incredible principles and a strong foundation for my bus- for, uh, uh, business. And uh, the coaching I received, uh, you know, on how to work with players and, and golfers and really how to teach came from several well-rounded people, such as Brad Turner, Charlie King, and the late coach uh, Conrad Railing from uh, Alabama and also Florida. So, you know, you know, really, uh, they made me understand how much there was to the game and, and the business. Well, I know Charlie King well, um, now teaching out of Reynolds Academy, but uh, Charlie, a fixture here in Orlando for a long time and a leading uh, teaching professional. Uh, this was quite an honor because I know in Canada they actually honor um, uh, teachers in, in different provinces, correct? And then, um, you, and then you received this award, at, I think, for, for Ontario, Teacher of the Year for Ontario, and then um, for uh, the, the whole of Canada, correct? Right, I won both. Uh, you have to. They've changed the the regulations for it, so now this year will be. Uh, you know, you have to be. You have to win your provincial to to be able to be nominated for the Canadian. So, uh, it was quite an honor to, uh, you know, receive both awards for sure from my peers and my association. And, you know, my family, and students, and members are all really, you know, happy to see me achieve my goals. And I mean, it certainly again wasn't an overnight success. Uh, you know, a t- tremendous amount of effort and time. Has gone into building my career and you know following this passion. So it uh, it's been a journey over the last 18 years, that's for sure. But uh, you know the next set of goals has already begun. So. Well, uh, I think um, equally as tough as playing the professional tour is becoming a top-notch teaching professional because, as we know, there are uh, thousands, not only in the United States, but, you know, around the world and, and Canada. Tell us a little bit, you know, I kind of would have expected a little bit more out of Mike Weir um, in terms of uh, playing the, the tour. What, what are, what's kind of held him back, do you think? You know, um, uh, he's, he's had some injuries. He's finally a little bit healthy now, and uh, I think he just needs to get his confidence back. Um, I've actually been, uh, you know, striving to, to try and get a coaching interview with him, so um, we'll see how that works out. I know he's working with uh, Andy and Mike right now in Vancouver, trying to get some confidence back and uh, figure things out one, one shot at a time, one swing at a time. So, you know, it's kind of a grind, you know. Uh, uh, you know, he's been out there for a while, and uh, when you lose your confidence, it's, uh, it's tough to get it back sometimes. 
Well, we, that's evident by um, some of the tribulations that uh, Darren Clark has been through. And um, once again, another great comeback story in his winning the British Open. Uh, so we know that that's, uh, there are many, many stories, and we talk about that week to week here on, on the show. Um, I, I'm curious, you know, we, we, of course, with Darren winning, this is the third major for uh, Northern Ireland. We've seen the, you know, spread of Korean golf, uh, golf in Italy. I mean, it seems to be, you know, global. Uh, but we haven't seen as many out of Canada. That's kind of surprising to me. Is that, you know, do a lot of them come here and play in the States, or is it because, you know, you have such a good tour there that uh, we haven't seen more players hit the top of uh, the PGA Tour? We're really just changing uh, the way we you know, approach coaching in Canada, and I think now that coaching is starting to catch on around the world. Um, we have lots of education uh, through the Canadian PGA and uh, the Coaching Association of Canada. Uh, there's, you know, I'm, one of my goals and next goals is to be the Olympic coach, and um, no one's qualified at this current time to, uh, you know, to fill that position because we all have to take this new coaching program. So, uh, it, and it hasn't quite rolled out yet, but uh, it will be out soon. You know, and so, I think... Uh, I'm sorry, pardon me. Sure. You know, and, and and most of your good athletes, Holly, up there are playing hockey. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because they're playing that eight months out of the year, you know, and uh, I think seasonally that has a lot to do with what happens in, uh, you know, the Canadian golf scene, the hockey scene. But I will guarantee you this. You find me a hockey player, I'll tell you, that guy can play some golf. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're, they're <laughs> I know good that athletes guy can play all around. Some golf. Yeah, no doubt about it. When we played with a, a gentleman yesterday in our, our tournament, uh, we have an ESPN Monday after the majors, and he was visiting uh, and on business from Toronto, and uh, just uh, decided to you know go play some golf uh, before his conference started, and ended up uh, playing in our in our foursome. So it was a lot of fun. Mm. So we uh, have definitely felt the uh, Canadian influence here the last couple of days. Yeah, uh, I think I think there's some more some more Canadians. Come, you know, Matt Quillen had his coming off of his, uh, you know, best finish to John Deere a couple weeks ago. Um, Adam Hadwin, you know, made the uh, made the cut in the U.S. Open, uh, you know, on the 36th hole and made the bir- you know made the birdie putt to make the cut. After they called Blake, came out the next day, played one hole and made the cut. So, um, I'm in there my kind of dark horses this week. I got uh, you know Adam Hadwin, McQuillan, and and Weirzy in the uh, in the Yahoo uh, fantasy pool. So. Well, I'm sure it would be uh, huge if uh, Mike was able to win his uh, his uh, nation's event on uh, home turf. So we'll we'll root for him as well. And we appreciate Jason Hellman spending some time with us. Jason, tell our listeners how they can go find out more about you. Uh, JasonHellmanGolf.com. Uh, I have uh, you know that's my that's my website, and uh, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on all the social media. So um, you know, add me up and. Uh, I'll follow you back, and and we'll go from there. Jason Hellman, the 2010 Canadian PGA Teacher of the Year. Thanks for spending a few minutes with the Golf Insiders.